Ow! If I have to rewind this. <laughs> okay, let's see now. There we go. Goes now. I guess I'm not about to come using so. Okay. A few or three moments later. The painter found himself erstwhile before a large enough cup of bay water to hold upon its diamond sparkling sheen at least a hundred or so smaller and larger ships. Vespelia was sitting perhaps thirty yards to the painter's right, carefully reading Milton's Paradise Lost. Do you know where you are going wrong, the ebbing waves? said to him the painter's personage in a clear, multitudinously animated tone of voice. Are you talking about my paintings and their evolutions and adaptation to my restless, ever-changing train of thought? The painter asked the ebbing waves. The light of the sun, listening to the two of them converse, said aloud to both of them, if you knew what you were doing wrong, your paintings would forfeit the layers of interest. We've both many times been the subject of your search for a closer understanding of the world within your mind, heart, and soul, said the one, said, said the light of the sun. Throughout the summing up of the next few or three days, all conceptual attenuation will slowly begin conversing with you, said the pouring sunlight as if in medley song. The rising waves, slowly waking from her restless slumbers, called for what seemed like a distance of eons, juxtaposition to avail himself to the painter's understanding thereof. You see, because the those, those two forces of nature were juxtaposed with each other, the ebbing and the float rising of the tide, and juxtaposition had to be awakened to um, you know, uh, complete the process, so to speak. Okay, so...